We're back, and I have a helper. <laughs> We're going to be making the ham and cheese hot pockets for Greg. What? Yeah. <laughs> We're going to give it a minute for some people to come on, and we're going to get going with our ham and cheese hot pockets with fat head dough. What's that mean? Tim is back. We have a helper today, this evening. Avery's going to help me. Daddy is still playing his video games. You men and your video games. That's what I say to that. Oh, our oven's done. So let's wait for a few people to come on. We're going to look at the crab dip. Oh, my God, it was amazing. You guys Ew. have to make it. Make it, make it, make it. That's disgusting. What did I tell you? Be quiet. Yeah, be quiet. But that's disgusting. So let's see if anyone um, can comment. I don't like to do the videos if I can't communicate with you guys. So please say hi. What's up? How's it hanging? Short shrivel into the left. Let's see. Who's coming on when? Someone comment. <laughs> You want to say hi? Avery is going to help us cook. Hi, guys. I got a spoon. She has a spoon. So I can mix the egg. Yeah. Wait, so we can mix the egg. the egg. We're going to make fat head dough, and we're going to make ham and cheese Hot Pockets. What's that mean? So did any of you guys comment? Again, I'm just scrolling left and right. I only, I like to see if it works. So um, someone comment. There we go. Hi, Amber. Thank you. Timothy, there it is, thank you. Diane, Karma, what's up? Roslyn, hi Mama Roz, I love you. Thanks again for your gift. Thank you. Um, while we're waiting, I want to mention hey, that. Daddy. Hi Brenda. Well, so, Diane, yeah, I always say that. I do want to say thank you to those of you that have um, sent things for myself or Avery. I'm not doing this to get anything. I, I, You don't have to do that. I, I appreciate it. I love you guys. Um, Avery has gotten a few Christmas gifts. I've gotten a few surprises from members and I appreciate it. I really do. I, I, I never expected it to be this. So I, it means a lot. And whenever I say that I want to give back to you guys when I can, everyone tells me to shut up because I am giving back. But it does. I, I do. And I truly would. If like anything ever happened or came out of this, you guys would be the first ones to benefit. And I promise that. So, um, thank you. Who are you talking about, Brenda? Tanya? Who's Tanya? Hey, Jersey. Hi, Beth. Say hi. Hi, bye. So, now we have quite a few people on here. We are going to get rolling. I'm going to show you guys how the crab dip turned out. It's cool now because we were kind of eating it. And it was good, and I couldn't help myself. So here, we're going to take a look. Let me put the light on. And I might have some, just to show you what it looks like. So here's our lavish bread chips we made earlier. Check the videos. It's on the videos. Here's the dip. Look at that. We may or may not have had some. I'm not sure what happened in this area. But it is so good. I mean, look at that. And your your chip here. And it's oh, it's amazing. See? And it's crunchy. With those chips, it came out awesome. Mm-hmm. Oh, Brenda. It came out really good. Definitely make that. So my helper and I, when she gets the spoon out of her armpit, we are going to make ham and cheese hot pockets with fat head dough. Mam Mam's watching. Say hello, Mam Mam. See right there? That's Mam Mam. That's Mam Mam. Hello, Mam Mam. <laughs> All right, so the basic fat, you know what, let me show you. The basic fat head dough is pretty easy. Everyone asks what dough to use. And legit, if you Google Holy Grail fat head dough. I love you, Mam Mam. She loves you, Mommy. It's the first recipe that comes up. So I'm going to show you. I have it written down because I have a book of all my favorite recipes. This is the crust that we're going to be using to make the ham and cheese fat head hot pockets. Very easy. Very simple. You okay? The oven is already preheated. You use this for pizza. You use it for stromboli. You use it for hot pockets. Breakfast pizza, breakfast hot pockets, whatever you want to do with this bread, it is very, very good. This crust, I should say, not bread. 
So I have everything um, measured out. I got it all ready. The oven is ready. So in Mommy. our bowl, what, baby? Mommy, up. We're going to. So in our bowl, we we already have our mozzarella, our cream cheese, and I put in some Italian seasoning. You can see it there. You can use Italian seasoning, <laughs> garlic powder, onion powder, whatever you want, salt and pepper. Yay, Lisa caught me live. Don't do that, please. Very simple. We're going to microwave this for one minute. When it comes out, we're going to add our almond flour and our egg, microwave it for another minute, mix it up, and you have pizza dough. And you can use it for stromboli. You can use it for Hot Pockets. It's very versatile. You can use it for a lot of things. So I'm going to go put this in the microwave, and we're going to come back. It's going to be back and forth for a minute until it's nice and heated, okay? So hold on. So we have that in for one minute. Then I have your, I, I buy this, it sells in a three pound lump, <laughs> and it's the um, Lando Lakes American Cheese. And then I have your normal deli ham, sliced. You can put whatever you want in this. I'm doing ham and cheese because it's what I wanted and it's what Greg wanted. So I wanna help you guys, it's what he requested. So here's our ham and our cheese. So we have our bread heating up in the microwave. I keep saying bread or crust. It's not a bread, I it's have crust. My water. And Avery has her water. And then we have three quarter cup of almond flour. I see mommy. And then we have our one egg. So one when that egg? beeps, I'm gonna crack the egg, put the almond flour, mix it, and put it in for another minute. And there's your crust. I mean, we've done a video on pizza crust before. I've made pizza twice. Check the videos. Go to the page and look for the videos, because we've done it twice. So, um, we're doing it a third time as Hot Pocket version. We beeped. Hold on. Yes. Can I see the spoon, please? So we have two ounces of cream cheese, mozzarella cheese, one cup, and some Italian seasoning. And you can see it's going to be a gelatinous mess. It's not going to look promising. And the first time I made it, I was like, what the fuck am I cooking? It works. Just trust me. So you're going to mix it up. Now we're going to crack our egg in. I'm going to crack it in here. No, Avery, we're not going to crack it in there. And then we're going to put our almond flour. And now we're going to mix it up good, and we're going to put it in for another minute. And again, trust me, it's not going to look good. You're going to think something is wrong. It's going to look like this. It's going to look... No. Just go <laughs> with it, trust me. So we're going to mix it up good. Hey, what's the spoon? I have it in my hand. You're weird. Don't growl at me. My kid is growling at me. All right, so now I'm going to put it in the microwave for you stop it, guys. probably 30 seconds. Okay, not a minute. 30 seconds. Be right back. Okay. I want the spoon back. Well, I'm cooking right now. So we're going to let it go for 30 I'm sorry. I'm reading some of these things, and you guys... You guys crack me up. Karma thinks I should be on Food Network. If they have a low cooking, low carb cooking challenge, I'll definitely be there. That's awesome. Thank you. Seven seconds. We're gonna pull it out. I already have par parchment paper. I sprayed with Pam because we're gonna roll it out with our handy dandy rolling pin, and we're gonna make little circles and make our hot pockets. I'm gonna go grab it again. So hold on. What's up, Oregon? What? Here is our egg, mozzarella, cheese, and cream cheese, and almond flour mixture. See what I mean? Why so sticky? Because that's how it is. Now we're going to plop it right on to our parchment paper. Now it's going to be hot. Actually, <laughs> that was just wanting Mix it up a little bit. Make sure that almond flour is incorporated. Can you guys see? So we're just going to mix it up. And Italian seasoning I put in there to flavor our dough. So now you can see that you have a dough. Where is Avery? She's right next to me, Kel. Alright. See? <laughs> but I want you guys to see the dough and not her. <laughs> All right, stop. So we're gonna put it here, and I already sprayed this piece of parchment and 
this piece. So I'm going to put it on top. You want to work while it's warm. That's why I'm trying to rush. Yep, we're going to roll it up with the rolling pin. Can so I do it? No. Hmm? So now we're going to roll it out. Is it got to be like And again, Play this is amazing for pizza. I've made pizza lots of times with wow. this. I've made breakfast pizza. I've made leftover <laughs> chicken parm pizza. I've made Alfredo sauce with spinach and chicken. It was amazing. My look at it. I see, baby. Why is it so flat? Alright, so we got a nice dough here. Right, I don't want it I too thin. I love you guys. Alright. Wow. Isn't that cool? No. No? Okay. Now you're going to peel your parchment paper off. <laughs> See, you have dough. Now, if you wanted to make pizza, put this in the oven, poke it with a fork first. Put it in the oven at 425, 10 minutes, top it with what you want, and you got pizza. It Can works I out great. But instead, we are making ham and cheese hot pockets. Um, and I'm going to put it in the I comments. I love ham and cheese. And if you Google Holy Grail Fathead, that's the recipe I used for this dough. But I want to work while this is warm, so bear with me and I'll show you again. I'm using this bowl. You can use a cup. You can cut it. You can, you can find other ways to make little circles for your hot pockets. So, actually, it's kind of big. Mom, well, let's wing it. So I'm gonna press out a circle here. Go ahead, press it down. Whoa! Kind of like making pierogies, right, Ma? It's so like we're going to do face. three, and then we're going to mush our dough up, and we're going to make more. Can I help you do that? Okay. So now we're going to get rid of the excess. Is it hot? Yes, it is hot, baby. I'm going to go with the So eyeballs. we'll probably make two, three more out of what's left here. And what you're left with is your nice can form. You can use... um taco. You can use turkey and cheese. You can use ham and cheese like we're making. You can use scrambled eggs, cheese, and bacon. I mean, you can make whatever you want with this dough. Let me just peel this off here. What is this? That's cream cheese that you're eating off my counter. Alright, so we're going to put this aside because we're going to make more. I just want to do this to show you guys. So, we have our circles of dough here. Now, you know what, let me put this one here. Reposition you in here. Don't mind my boobs. Ha ha! Okay. Hey. So we're going to put one here. I can see better. Press it out a little bit because now we're going to fill it with our ham and cheese and then we're going to fold it over like a hot pocket and pinch it shut. So, make sure that you don't want it too, too thin. Yes, sit up there. But, that's about decent. See? Put it, Mommy. I should have been. So we're going to put it down here. Now we have our ham right from the deli. And I'm going to go back and read everything, so just bear with me. We're going to put it right in the middle. I'm going to tuck it under a little bit so we can secure it. Can I, can I eat one of those? Now we're going to fill it pretty good because this is for a man. Greg wanted this. And we want to make sure that Greg's tummy is full, so we're going to pile this ham on here, okay? So we have three pieces of ham here. All right, you like it? Now I'm going to put some cheese. Yes, it does freeze, Jessica. I have never frozen it. But I know other members of the page have frozen it, so yes, it does freeze well. You can do that. I'm going to tuck a piece of cheese in here just because I'm fancy. Now, you hear he's still playing his video game. We're going to stretch it out a little bit. Hopefully this works. Yeah, it did. And we're going to pinch it shut just like a pierogi. Right, Ma? That's where I go with a fall. Now you want to seal it shut. You can use a fork if you want to be fancy, but I ain't fancy. 
hold on here, we're gonna stretch it over, secure it. See? And again, you can stuff these with whatever you want. Look at that, there's your Hot Pocket. It has ham and cheese in it. Avery, what? we are not a cow, so how do we chew? With our mouth closed. She's eating some ham and she's chewing like a cow. And these don't wanna stay closed for me, hold on. That's why I said, I don't like it closed. Mommy, I have one down this one. Can I have another one? Yes, you can have more. There we go. Now we're closed. You got to work with it and pinch it off pretty well. Someone is messaging me. Elena, if that is you, I'm coming after you. There you go. There it is. Isn't it cute? So Mommy, now I, I do want to put... You want more ham? Yeah. How about you not leave your hand in front of all these people? I am going to poke a few holes to let some of the steam escape. And I hope you make holes. Okay, now we have two more here. I'm gonna do the two more with you guys and then put them in the oven and then we'll shoot the shit and I'll go. Over, I'll do the rest when I'm done. So here we go, here's another one with our fathead dough. Again, Google, honestly, holy grail fathead dough. It's the best one, it's the one I use. It will be in the I comments. I make this one. It will be in the comments. So we're going to put our piece of cheese. You know what? I'm going to double it. How about that? And we're going to do two pieces of ham. You can use turkey. You can use salami. You can use bajuto. You can use capicola. You can use whatever the hell you want. Stuff it. Man, be creative. I hear you. Okay. Another oh, piece can. of cheese. <laughs> You can even season it too. You want some hot sauce in there or something? Spice it up, throw it in there, man. Now we're gonna fold it up. Notice I went a little less on this one. Cause the other one was hard to, uh, was hard to close. Now pinch it shut. Mike, can I have some tea? Yes, as soon as I'm done, okay? Okay, I want to move there. There you go. There's your ham and cheese hot pockets. Yummy! How? How? <laughs> Fold it over, press it up good. We're gonna bake them in the oven at 425 till they're lightly brown, probably about 20 minutes. Now again, I've done this big. I've never made them individually. I've done one big meat bread and it came out amazing. There you go. That's like a tea sandwich. So now I'm gonna poke a few holes, okay. let some ske steam escape, and I'll do one more, and then um, be good, guys. Yes, absolutely. Yay! Do you want to say hello to everyone in your mam mam? Stand on the chair while I stuff this last one. Maybe give people something to look at. Hey other than guys! <laughs> you want to? Tell everyone he went and saw Santa? Today I went and saw Santa. That was yesterday. Wait, who said hi? Everyone's saying hi. Look, there's Joanne, there's Karma, there's Brenda, there's that's, Dawn, there's that's Mama. A doggy. Don't touch it. You that's, saw her, the picture of her doggy? Yeah. That's cool. So I went and saw Santa with my mom and my dad. So, and I came back home. Um, and now you're helping mommy cook? And I help mommy cook, and mommy's doing a live um, video. A live video? <laughs> and daddy's doing his game. And daddy's playing his game. Wait, who's that up there? That's Brenda. Brenda's Why? a friend of mommy's. We're going to go to her house one day. Yay! We're Tell coming her. to her house. Coming to visit, Brenda. We're coming to visit. Wait, there was the red. Yeah, that's what? her with the red. How did we get there? She's going to pick us up. <laughs> All right, so here's our third oh, one. one is still high. They're all done. And I'm going to keep them on the same parchment paper that I had everything on. See? Hold on one second, baby. I'm still say hi. You can in a minute. Good job. 
Now I have some dough left. So I'm going to work this dough. And I'm going to probably make, I'm going to try to get three more. I think I'm going to get two. I just have a feeling. So, and then you pop them in the oven at 425 until they're light brown. Probably 20 minutes, half an hour. And there is your Hot Pockets. So let me wash my hands and we'll recap real quick. But I want to still stay hot. They can hear you. Oh my goodness. <laughs> All right, so that was our Hot Pockets. It's really simple, really easy. You can use the dough for pizza also. It's amazing. There they are. That's the leftover dough. I'm going to try to make three more. I have a feeling I'm going to get two more. But um, 425, about 20 minutes. Check them. You can flip them. And there's your ham and cheese pockets, guys. It's amazing. Let's see. Yeah, Joanne, I can do that too. I'll Look go. Um, mommy. She wants a picture of when it's done. Mommy, what's yes. this? Let's scroll up and see who said what. All right. If you bake it, but bake it, then freeze it between parchment paper. The dough works well, also. Thank you, Brenda. Hello, Nicole, my neighbor. Are you coming for dinner? Hi, Jessica, my mommy. Hi, Mel. The crab rind goon dip I shared earlier. Look at it; it came out amazing. See, we may or may not have had some. It's amazing. I think you should make it. Karma. I think that Nicole should take us shopping with her someday. Holler back. Where are we going shopping for? I'll go shopping. What, 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 what? And then you can all come here and cook for me. Ha! Uh, let's see what else. I Dawn is going to make hot. spinach, chicken, Alfredo hot pockets. Sounds amazing. I love the outside thinking of the box. It's awesome. Great seeing you too, Joanne. Hi, Amy, oh. Joanne, Brenda, Cheryl, Anna, Connie, Pam, Kelly. Are you going to partner with your mommy on her new show? <laughs> Ma, you hear that? You want to help me cook? Is that a show? Hi, Nicole. Yes, I will post the finished thing in the comments. Oh, yes, Haley is right. The possibilities are endless with this, guys. Use I, your imagination. I just want to stay hot. All right, guys. So we did our fat head ham and cheese pockets. I'm going to make the two to three more, see what I can get out of it. I'm going to put them in the oven, and I will. I'll come back live so you guys can see what they look like, and I'll post the picture in the comments of the recipe. And again, Really, Google Haley Grail Fathead. That's the recipe that I use for my pizza and my Hot Pockets. So do enjoy. Thank you for tuning in. From here on out, I'm going to go take a bath. I'm going to relax and be alone in peace because you still hear her talking over there? Yeah. Mommy needs a minute. So say goodbye to everybody. Bye, guys. Thank you for seeing me and Santa. <laughs> Can I use Can a Fathead dough for pies? Out. Melissa, that's a good question. Maybe. I never have. Um, I know there's a few almond dough pie recipes. I've never used it for a pie, but I don't see why it wouldn't work. It sets up very nice and it cooks well. So definitely try it. So um, guys, enjoy. I'll be back when they're finished. Thank you so much for watching you, and putting up with that. And she loves Mamam. We love you, Mamam. Love Mamam. Bye, guys.